Hey everyone, I'm Brugly, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining a very anomalous backrooms level called the Limitless Mulch. This one is unlike any level I've seen before, and it's terrifying and kind of funny, but also terrifying at the same time. Anyways, I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate you, and let's get into the explanation, shall we? So yeah, this backrooms level is named the Limitless Mulch, and you can probably tell what it's gonna be just based off the name, but there's no way you're gonna expect all the crazy stuff that happens here. But to start off, we'll just talk about what it's classified as. It does have a classification of a class variable because the safety and the vibe and the dangers change depending on where you go inside of the level. We'll get into all of it right now. Level Explanation. So this level is split up into seven distinct parts or regions, and the size of these regions is all different, but we're just gonna hop into it. The whole size of the level is unknown as of me making this video, but what we do know is that it's huge and it's sprawling out in every direction. And we also know that the weather here is strange because it lines up with real life seasons. So it can be hot, cold, cool, depending on what time of the year it is. When you do get sent here, you'll wake up in the first region of the level, which is a flat landscape with nothing but foggy skies and wet, soggy mulch under your feet. And this region is called the Mulch Flats. So these flats are the most common region in the level, and they're pretty simple. The mulch here never decomposes or rots or anything like that, and it's always wet and gross wherever you walk to. The actual mulch itself is made from trees from real life, we think. And it's all you can see for miles and miles, like it's just an infinite sea of mulch. The best way to describe it is to think of a super flat world in Minecraft, but instead of grass, it's just mulch everywhere. So the mulch flat area is very close to the top of the level, which is kind of like a ceiling, and the ceiling is just white tiles. Which is crazy that a ceiling is literally that big when it goes out in all directions forever, it seems. But yeah, that's crazy. As I said, these mulch flats are the most common area, but they're also the most safe and most easy to understand area. And the only really weird thing that happens here is that sometimes there'll be a huge cubic chunk of mulch missing, and it'll just be a giant cube cut out of the ground. Kind of like a glitch in a video game. But other than that, it's just a flat plane made out of moist mulch. Simple as that. The second zone is called the Mulch Creeks which are kind of like creeks and streams from real life. They're just made out of regular old water, and they can be small, skinny creeks, or they can be huge rapids, waves creeks, or they can be huge rivers with rapids and waves. It all depends on where you're at in the level. And as you could guess, the water has a ton of mulch floating on top of it, and sometimes this water can erode huge areas of the banks of the river, and it causes massive shifts in the layout of the level. This zone is kind of dangerous because of the water, it can be fast, but it's also a safe space because you can get water to drink there, so approach it at your own risk. The next zone is connected directly to these creeks that I just talked about, and it's the Mulch Lakes, which are just large bodies of water that look like real life lakes, except there's mulch all surrounding it. The size of the lakes can range from tiny ponds to huge massive bodies of water that go on for miles and miles. And these are much safer than the rivers because there's no fast moving water, it's just chill calm waves. The area after this is called the Mulch Valleys and these are the parts of the level uh, that falls off into steep drops and hills. These can just randomly appear along the mulch flats and you could just be walking along and fall down a huge hill, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Most of the time these valleys are near lakes and creeks, and the biggest danger from these valleys is that there could be a mulch avalanche that could happen, where huge chunks of mulch start rolling down the mountain and build up, and you don't want to be on the other end of that. The fifth zone is called the Mulch Caverns, which are large holes and cave openings found in the valleys of the level. These tunnels are really claustrophobic and damp and itchy, and the entire structure itself is decently weak because, I mean, it's just made out of mulch. How strong can it be? And the caves could collapse, theoretically. Sometimes there's a creek or a stream that runs in the caves too, which can make it more wet and compact to walk on, and the caves themselves are slightly dangerous but they also lead to one of the most dangerous parts of the level called the bottom. 
So the bottom is what it sounds like. It's the very bottom of the level, and it's accessed by these caverns and caves. You know you're getting close when the mulch of the caves starts to suddenly transition into hard, metal-looking mulch. And then it'll open up into a huge, flat spot with this hard metal mulch as the ground. But the ceiling of this bottom area is still made out of the mulch above you, and it can fall down on top of you at any time, so just be careful for that. But this is one of the most dangerous parts, because the bottom material absorbs almost all sound. So if you want to talk or communicate with anyone, it's going to be extremely hard, because your voice couldn't be heard more than like a foot in front of you. It's best to just get out of here as fast as you can and not look back. Think of this bottom area as kind of like the bedrock layer in Minecraft. It's unbreakable, it's hard, and it's just infinite. And finally, the last zone is called the top, which is, well, the top of the level, of course. It's above the white tiles in the ceiling, and it's also above the mulch flats. It's the highest point here that can be accessed, and it's a really weird place that seems to be like a maze of huge cubes of mulch. The maze is very hard to travel through, and it can get really claustrophobic in some spots. The turns are windy and bendy, and it's just really confusing, obviously. It's a, it's a maze. But this part is the most dangerous in the level, because there are huge amounts of asbestos in the mulch cubes here, as well as on the floor. Which is obviously dangerous, because it's a chemical, and breathing it in is extremely bad. There's also been a bone found up here, which is the only sign of a living thing ever discovered on the level. Let me know in the comments what you think the bone is from. I don't know. We don't know. No one knows. But just don't come up here to the top. There's <laughs> literally no reason to. To enter this level, you can noclip through level 10 somewhere, and you might be sent here. But to exit, you have to go to that bottom area and noclip through the hard material to be sent out of here. But some people claim that you don't have to do that, and you can just noclip into a lake and leave. Nice. That's it for the video, I hope you enjoyed it. This level was honestly incredible. I thought it was very well done, very unique. Go check out the full article below if you want to. It's really cool, very well done. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Comment Mulch Brugly if you are still listening, and I will throw a heart at your comment as always. Hope you're having a great day. Make sure to tell somebody that you love and appreciate them because life is too short to not to. Thank you for all you do for me. I love and appreciate you. That's right, I said it. See y'all in the next video, peace.